She was the first female solo rapper to release a full studio album, score a gold single, and be nominated for a Grammy. Iconic hip-hop pioneer MC Light took the rap world by storm upon her debut in the late 80s and immediately commanded respect from the male-dominated industry. She also dealt with her fair share of professional and personal issues, from a major beef with another female rapper to battling for the rights to her name and people constantly questioning her sexuality. Lana Michelle Moore, better known as MC Light, was raised by her mother in Brooklyn, New York. She was exposed to a variety of musical genres during her childhood. In her neck of the woods that was mostly comprised of people from the Caribbean, she heard a lot of reggae and dancehall. When she would go to Spanish Harlem, where her grandmother lived, it was 24-7 hip-hop. Then, when she'd make her way over to Queens, she'd get her fill of traditional R&B. Light counts some of her own personal musical influences as Rakim, Run DMC, Curtis Blow, and salt and Peppa. Her dream profession when she grew up changed every time the wind blew. One minute she wanted to be a teacher, the next a doctor. Eventually she would begin rapping at the age of 12 and adopt the stage name Sparkle. It was clear as anyone within earshot that heard her spit would agree that she had something special. Three years later, Light would find herself at a Manhattan nightclub where she met a guy she called Tony. Tony later went on to be known as DJ Clark Kent. Light wound up going over to his basement studio to lay down what would end up being her very first single. In 1987, at the age of 16, Light released that song called I Cram to Understand You, a story about a man named Sam who is addicted to crack cocaine. The inspiration for the lyrics came from Light's own personal experiences of coming into contact with the heroin and crack addicts at the rehabilitation center in the hospital where her mother worked, as well as the ones she'd witnessed on the street in her grandmother's neighborhood. Another couple of major players in Light's success were Milk D and Gizmo of the hip-hop duo Audio 2. They all grew up and pursued their musical dreams together. The duo even had Light's back when it came to her securing her first record deal. Milk D's father took matters into his own hands by starting a label for his son to release his music on called First Priority. The label then formed a distribution relationship with Atlantic Records. Before that could happen though, there was a catch Atlantic had to agree to. They would have to give Light a deal. In May 1988, she released her first album titled Light as a Rock, with which she became the first female solo rapper to release a full studio album. It featured the title track, Paper Thin, and 10% Diss, a diss track response to Bronx-bred female rapper Antoinette. Light and Antoinette had a beef with one another that, according to Light, was really brought on by the men in their company. Antoinette had been accused of stealing the beat from Audio 2's hit Top Billin for her track I Got An Attitude. The duo wanted to say something, but being men, they didn't think it was a good look to go at her, so they volunteered Light for the job. They went back and forth for a period of time taking shots at each other in various songs. Eventually, the two women would squash everything when they took to the stage together in 2018, along with several other female hip-hop artists for the Queens of Hip-Hop concert. Antoinette made the first move by coming to Light's dressing room. They had a real heart-to-heart -heart conversation where Light took the opportunity to apologize and admitted that she didn't realize the power in her tongue and how it could ruin someone's career and life. Light quickly followed up her debut album the following year with Eyes On This. It featured the hit single Cha Cha Cha, which peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot Rap Singles Chart, as well as Cappuccino and Stop Look Listen. As the 80s ended and the 90s began, Light then embarked on a relationship with the producer of MTV's hip hop music show, Yo MTV Raps, Todd Brown, also known as Todd One. At one point, she would reveal in an interview that they were engaged. Todd later said that the engagement story really started off as a joke made up by one of the hosts of the show. However, when later asked about her, quote, marriage in an interview, Light decided to just go along with it instead of setting the record straight. Many would attribute the reason why to her using the rumor for publicity. More rumors about Light's love life, as well as her sexuality, would continue to circulate throughout her career. But we'll get into those details a little later. Unlike her first two albums being considered hip-hop classics, Light's third effort, 1991's Act Like You Know, received mixed reviews. The album still managed to produce the successful singles Poor Georgie and When In Love. On a 2019 episode of Untold Stories of Hip-Hop, Light spoke about making the decision to bring her sexy back for the project, 
by wearing more revealing outfits for the promo shoot. Interestingly enough, her label reprimanded her for the pics and told her to go put her jeans back on. Light didn't really understand what the problem was since, as a woman, in the male-dominated field of hip-hop, she was well aware of the expectation and encouragement, covertly or overtly, for women to use their looks and body to get attention and advance their career. Her label let her know that it wasn't necessary for her to play that card because her fans already loved her just the way she was. Ain't No Other, Light's fourth album, would drop in the summer of 1993. The first single and smash hit, Roughneck, would grab another number one spot on the rap singles chart, a top 10 position on the R&B hip hop songs chart, and break the top 40 on the Hot 100. The song also secured Light two more firsts, the first female rapper to achieve a gold single certification as a solo artist, and the first to earn a Grammy Award nomination. Fun fact, Light revealed in a 2021 interview with Hot 97 radio station that Left Eye from R&B trio TLC recorded a verse and was supposed to be featured on the track, but her record label didn't approve it. After the song grabbed a Grammy nomination though, Light happened to run into L.A. Reid, who proceeded to profusely apologize for the obvious bad decision. As hot as Light's solo career was, she was still down to collaborate with other artists and did so on several standouts like Self Destruction as part of KRS-One's Stop the Violence movement, Janet Jackson's You Want This, and Brandy's I Wanna Be Down remix. By 1996, Light was ready to move on to a new label and drop another project. The R&B and dance music heavy Bad As I Wanna Be would feature the two most commercially successful singles of her career. Keep on keeping on with the R&B group Escape and Cole Rock A Party with Missy Elliott. Her next two albums received a lackluster reception and had little commercial impact. A 12-year hiatus would follow before Light would release her next album, her eighth, and last to date, titled Legend in 2015. While in the midst of promoting her new project, more gossip about her love life would take center stage. Some media speculated that she had entered a relationship with R&B singer Janelle Monet. Neither Janelle nor Light have ever confirmed the rumor. A few years prior, she was also asked to respond to a lyric by Tyler the Creator on the track Rella off hip hop collective Odd Future's debut album. Tyler rhymes, let's get it poppin' like MC Light, around some <laughs> Light told Hip Hop DX that she did feel insulted and found the act to be very irresponsible. Actress Tashina Arnold's name was also thrown around. There was talk surrounding her having left her husband to be with Light. Those rumors though were later denied by Tashina herself. In January 2017, Light posted a photo of herself looking very cute and cozy next to a man with a caption expressing her gratefulness to God for bringing true love into her life. It came as a big surprise to everyone, since she's never been one to talk about her personal life. That man, Marine Corps veteran and entrepreneur, John Weich, whom she met on Match.com, would go on to become her husband that summer. Three years later, Light would file for divorce. When the couple married, it seemed that people were finally ready to let the speculation about her sexuality go, but as soon as she announced their separation, they started up again. Almost two years later, she spoke to the ladies at The Real about how distraught she was over the decision to call it quits. It's hard in the beginning, but you realize to have happiness doesn't mean you have to remain together, and it doesn't mean that you are a failure because the marriage failed. It's all ego. You just have to be able to let go. When asked why the process was taking so long, Light said matter-of-factly that it's because her soon-to-be ex refuses to sign the papers. A professional battle that Light was engaged in for decades finally ended with a win in 2021. She announced in December that she now owned the trademark to her name. She expressed in a video on Instagram, unboxing the official paperwork, how important it is to own your own brand. Music is far from Light's only talent. She's also an author, motivational speaker, philanthropist, actress, and voiceover artist. She purposely designed her career that way after her very first manager told her that they needed to work together to make her brand popular whether she had a hit record out or not. Her voiceover work especially as the announcer for dozens of Hollywood events, including the BET Awards 
Emmys, and Grammys has been very successful and lucrative. Currently, she's got her hands full starring in the new all-black sitcom Partners in Rhyme, where she also holds co-creator, writer, and executive producer credits. As Light's character attempts to create a superstar out of her niece, the series, she hopes, gives audiences a new perspective and resolves some generational gaps in the music industry. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.